Come on, baby. Come on. We've all been there. Truck won't start. Sometimes you gotta check the fuel pump. Now the quickest test for a fuel pump is to turn the key while someone has their ear to the tank and see if you can hear the pump whine. If the pump whines, at least it's getting power. If there's no power, you need to check the relays and the fuses and probably even the electrical connections to the pump. And Fords also have what's called an inertia switch. Sometimes this can trip and you have to press it to reset it or jump it if it's totally bad. Here's how to test for a bad fuel pump. And you don't even have to buy the tools. You can borrow them from VatoZone, O'Reilly's, or any place like that. Now the test kit comes with the pressure gauge and the various adapters. Hook up a gauge. Toggle the key on and hear the pump prime and then turn it off. Turn it on and hear the pump prime. And you want to keep doing that till the fuel pump comes up to spec. Start the engine. Watch the gauge. Notice how it's below spec. Because the fuel pressure is low, we want to rule out the fuel pressure regulator. So we want to unplug the vacuum connection and block it off. But once we fire it back up again, it drops down. The fuel pressure regulator is not the cause. Because the pressure builds up when the engine's sitting, but it drops when the motor's running, that means that the pump's not flowing enough fuel. So that one was a pretty Goldilocks way of braking. Normally they just brake 100% off. But that's why it's important to borrow the fuel pressure tester and check that the fuel pump's good and the fuel pressure regulator is good. Now that fuel pressure regulator was brand new so I knew it would work, but if it's having problems, normally what happens is your fuel pressure's in spec and when you unplug the fuel pressure regulator, nothing changes. Or the fuel pressure is very, very low. You unplug the fuel pressure regulator and the fuel pressure shoots through the roof. 